All right, so we have a brand new account and we're gonna play through Challenge to Valley, three starring every single course, only using the discs that are rewarded from each course. So that means no pro shop, no discs from the cash shop, no discs from any events or any of that. So the goal in this video is gonna be to get two extra bag slots. So that will be 3000 gold. Then we'll play all the way until Windswept Fields. Let's get going. So straight away, I'm gonna aim for this little picnic basket over here. Aim for this picnic basket. And then I'm gonna try to hit the chains here without making it. Okay, that's a fail. Like so, that should give us another 500. Sweet, and then we start. It's a quick thousand goal there. See if we can make an ace. I'm not gonna grind for it though. We'll get that later. One more try. No. One more go. And we got it. There we go. Another 500. We've got two ace rounds, hole one and hole three. Other than that, it's not gonna be too exciting. Pretty much just aim at the basket. And pot it. See a hole three if we can get this one. Should be able to reach the basket if we aim somewhere around here. Fade. Go, 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 go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Two aces. Okay, a little bit too good to be true. It's just pure luck with these discs. Especially when they're not accurate. So much variety in each shot. Sometimes they turn a lot, sometimes they ice a lot, sometimes they just go dead straight. You never really know. Okay, so hole five, we'll find a hole. If you didn't get any A's, you can just aim over here to the left and hope that we sit on this hillside, just like that. Then you're just gonna aim around that tree and you're aiming for an easy birdie. And that, way, and that way you'll get three stars without any A's. There we go. I'm gonna drop the beat up discs. And once we're here, we're also gonna make sure to spin our little disc here in the preview window. That'll give us another thousand gold. Off to Blueberry Thicket. All right, so the first two courses, not gonna be too hard. Basically just chuck it up with the default aim, give it some heiser, and tap it in. And same thing here. A little bit of heiser with the forehand. Not quite a tap in, but pretty much. Hole three, on the other hand, we have a harder option. It's just this skinny gap, but we might get an eagle look or the easy option, just two straight shots here and you're in for an easy birdie. I'm gonna take the skinny gap, see if we can get a look for the, for the eagle. It's a little far, but I'm gonna take Hmm. I'm gonna take the explorer on a forehand here and see if we can get a look for the eagle. Oh, so close. Ooh, stay in. Dang, almost got it spit up. So here, can, you might be able to run it with the explorer, but I think, I think it's, oh, that turned way too much. You could use the Explorer or the Compass there and give it some Anheuser, but not too much to think about. I think you might be able to reach a basket there with a Tailwind. It's a whole five. Here we got an ace run. Just aim somewhere around here. Not today. So a whole six. We'll go Compass. And then we'll aim somewhere around here. Maybe about that much. But man, no. Okay. okay, I didn't get any of that right. Way too high, way too much power. And I just went super straight all of a sudden. Now we've got a bit of a comeback here. And... Whew. Just barely snuck over the rim. We could take two pars and we're still gonna be fine. So no need to worry about getting a par. Alright, hole eight. 
just gonna try to get up to the bottom of this hill. And we're pretty much happy with that. I guess you could go back in too. Give it a lot of anizer. Should be able to reach the basket. Nice. I guess we do have an ace run here too, but without the roll attribute on the explorer, we do run the risk of going a little bit too long into the wood. So we're just gonna shuck the compass here over the top. And sweet. All right, so that's blueberry thicket. You only need to have seven down, I believe, to get all three discs and three stars. So don't sweat it if you don't get all the birdies. Okay, I'm gonna remove the daggers and I'm gonna remove the non-accurate explorer. And I'll do my throw in some putt with the accurate compass instead. So all kill next. All kill is also gonna be fairly easy. This is a lot of par there's gonna be a lot of par fours, so you're always gonna reach the basket in two goes. All two. Not too much to think about here. We got lucky with the wind, so no need to worry about. I think honestly, I don't need. I don't think you need to worry about any wind here, because it's a pretty short par four. You're gonna be able to reach the basket every single time, pretty much. Maybe with a stiff headwind of three, but I doubt it. I think it's still gonna be fine using the explorer. Here we got a tailwind. Speaking of strong winds, gonna make it even easier. Might not go full power here, nope. 78 meters. Gonna take off a little bit of power with the compass. Make sure we don't slide long. Okay, so here you can take the skinny gap here. It's not really a gap, but you can take the skinny landing zone there. Uh, with this wind, we, we could give it a go and we might have a look for eagle. But any headwinds, I'd recommend you go out to the left. Let's give this a shot. I mean, worst case scenario, you just have to restart. That looks good, though. Absolutely perfect. Okay, we got a little bit of an eagle look here. Hmm. A little bit. I'm not too sure about where to aim with a compass. With a long throwing like this. But we'll go... Let's go with this and see what happens. That's too weak. Okay, not really close, but... Worth a shot. So we got the easy birdie, that's all we need. You don't even you don't actually need any bonus strokes here, so I'm just doing it for fun. Cause we I don't even think we need all nine birdies either. I think it's like eight birdies, we'll check afterwards. I should check that before I start around though. Would be smart to check it before I start. So a little weak last time. Did also heist a little bit more than anticipated. Let's see if that's enough. Ooh! No, no way, no way that stuck. Oh my God, <laughs> that's so lucky. What the heck was that? All right, we got a perfect win for this hole. If I didn't have this tailwind, I will definitely go back and just shuck it out in the middle of this first plateau here and then shuck it down here. Gonna have to take off a lot of power. It's, it's severely downhill, but a really strong tailwind. I doubt I think this should be plenty to get to the basket. Dang, it got really stable in that wind, that tailwind downhill. Alright, perfect anyway. For the birdie, with a bonus stroke. And no wind to think about here either. Honestly, I think no wind on any of these. It's gonna make it too hard because you have so much leeway with the um, with the par force since they're not that long. There we go, last hole. Also, pretty favor favorable wind. Could give it a slight hyzer. So we can skip on down there. Absolutely perfect. So that was a breeze. And there we go, that's the fuse. Love to see that. 
and we've got a, an accurate glide compass now, so we can get rid of our extra glide without accurate. I'm a little tempted to remove, I'm actually going to remove the compass, even though it's accurate, I'm so much more used to the fuse that I think <laughs> the accuracy with the compass is not going to help me in this case, so I think I'm more accurate with a non-accurate fuse, uh, unfortunately. And we're off to the lakeside. I'm going to try to not hit the water now. I'm going to try to not be too sloppy here and not hit the water, because then we get the badge straight away. I think it's only like 250 gold. I can't remember. So we're going to try to not hit the water now, but also make it somewhat not play too safe either. Oops, I forgot. I should have taken the extra glide explorer here. <laughs> As I say that, I'm just going to restart. We're on hole two. Hole two. We're going to have a possible eagle chance here. We didn't get the best win for it. Slight headwind of three. But if we get a good ground play, we do. We do have a look still. It's gonna be a lot harder to throw it in this window. No, I wish I had that compass, because that stability is gonna help me to fight this wind. Do I go extra glide compass just to fight the wind and it's accurate? And no, let's go fuse actually. Let's go fuse here and see if we can throw this in. Ooh, got him. And here, since we don't get a headwind, we'll go fuse here too. And we've got a little too much turn for the tapping. We can also go for another eagle here. I'm going to go back down with the, the extra glide explorer. And see if we can get somewhat close to the edge. Oh, bad ground play. We're so close enough to reach the other side. I'm going to go... Uh, let's go the extra glide, just because of the headwind. Make sure we get over there. Yeah, that was a good choice. And the tapping eagle. Easy peasy. So a whole five here. We also got a bit of an eagle run, although it might be... Although it's going to be a lot harder. It's going to have a really long throw in. We got too much turn on that one, unfortunately. So, we didn't get it. Let's put this. All six. Not the best wind. I wanted to give this an ace run with the explorer. Aim somewhere around here. If you got a wind of one, you just send it. But with this wind, I'm a little worried we're going to slide underneath the, the pine trees. Oh, I gave that didn't give that enough juice. So that was a little dumb. Should, might as well just give that full power. Got away with that. And let's give this a run though. If we're unlucky, we might slide underneath the pine tree, but it looks like it's tracking, and it is. Dang. Getting lucky today with these ace runs. I should be able to reach the basket right with the compass. Take the safe route with the explorer. Because I know that will reach the, the island. Oh, strong headwind here. That doesn't really matter though. If I didn't have a if I didn't have the headwind, I'll just I would just go fuse here. But just to be safe, I'll go compass on the first one and I'll go fuse here on the second one. And then we'll go, and then we'll go explore. Back to the last island, oh, back on to the last island. That's lakeside. Minus 12. And we got the badge, it's only 250 gold. That's weird, that's an odd number. I'm not gonna use the river. Especially since they're not accurate. I think the extra turn explorer is going to be somewhat similar to the river anyways, and that's accurate. So we'll use that instead. So, get 2,000 gold. Let's actually go back to Blueberry Thicket and hold 8 to get that Your Worthy Badge. 
And here we go back in with Extra Glide Explorer. In towards the sky, pretty much. Slide through the... Oh, we get through the trees. And here's the sword for the reward the badge. And that gives us a total of 3,000. Right, that's it. See you in the next one.